Hello boys and girls, Mr. Jimmy. Wanted to come to you with a couple of examples for order of operation. Always something that we seem to struggle with a little bit in part because of our fluency with math facts. So let's take a look at some examples. I have some listed over here. I'm just going to rewrite them. Uh, let's take a look at the, let's take a look number 21 here first. So you have 8 times 15 divided by 5 minus in parentheses, 5 times 9. Now, if you recall PEMDAS, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, where it comes first from left to right, addition, subtraction, where it comes first from left to right. So first thing, I look at this problem, and I see parentheses right here. So I'm going to simplify what's inside the parentheses. I'm going to evaluate that. So 5 times 9 is 45. Everything else stays the same. 8 times... 15 over 5 minus 9 times 5 is 45. All right, now I take a look. I have multiplication and division and subtraction left. Now, typically I do multiplication and division where it comes first from left to right. But see, I can't multiply 8 times 15 over 5. I need to simplify this. Well, what is 15 divided by 5? Oh, that's 3. So now we have 8 times 3 minus... 45. Well, 8 times 3 is? 8 times 3 would be 24. Again, my fluency my math facts. Now, I have 24 minus 45. Think of it this way. I have $24, but I need to get to 45. So I need to find the difference in between these two. So I'm going to add to that the opposite of 45, which is a negative 45. Because addition is commutative, I could also think about, hey, I owe somebody $45. I just paid him back 24 45 minus 24 gives me 21 But because I still owe them, it is a negative 21 All right? So that's how I would evaluate this numeric expression. Let's take a look at another one. Let's take a look at another one here. Um, and again, you can always pause this video and attempt to solve it on your own and then come back and watch the video and see if you were right. So I'm doing number 22 there. 2 times uh, 7 minus 10 over 9 minus 4. Now I notice I have two terms. Terms are separated by a plus or minus sign. And it's a minus sign or subtraction sign or a subtraction sign or addition sign. Here we have this term. Here we have this term. So what we could do is we could do both operations at the same time because they're separated by this subtraction sign. So we have 2 times 7 is 14. Now the other side I need to simplify a little bit. That's 10, but I can't divide 10 by 9 and 4. I need to simplify 9 minus 4. Well, 9 minus 4 gives me 5. So now I have 10 divided by 5. And again, now we have subtraction and division left. Well, we're taught that, according to PEMDAS, we would divide first. So now we have 14 minus 10 divided by 5 is 2. And then 14 minus 2 gives me 12. All right? Now, I'm going to kind of bypass a couple more of these. I want to give you one uh, with fractions because I, I've been noticing that those are cumbersome for us. So if I did something like this, three. I'm actually going to get rid of this diagram real quick. Let's get rid of that. And let's create our own here. Let's go three times open parenthesis. Uh, let's go four plus eight times two close parentheses um, plus let's go three fourths to the second power. All right, I have a lot going on here. I have parentheses, I have exponents. Well, let's simplify what's inside the parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, I have two terms separated by an addition sign. First term, second term. I cannot simplify the first term, it's just four. The second term, I can't simplify. Eight times two gives me 16. So now I'm left inside the parentheses still. Three is on the outside there. Three times four plus, well, this gave me 16. 
close parentheses, plus, well, again, this is another term. I can now simplify 3 fourths squared. Remember, 3 fourths squared is really 3 fourths times 3 fourths. Numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. There's no cross reduction I can do. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 is 16. All right, let's take a look. Inside the parentheses, I have 3, or excuse me, I have 4 plus 16. Well, 4 plus 16 gives me 20. So now I have 3 times 20 plus 9 sixteenths. All right, well, again, I have multiplication and addition. And I have two terms still. This side is a term. This side is a term. I'm going to evaluate this side of the, the uh, numeric expression first because we have multiplication, and multiplication comes before addition. 3 times 2 will give you 60 plus 9 sixteenths. Well, this is not even one whole yet, so the final answer just becomes 60. It's a nice mixed number, 60 and 9 sixteenths, and I am done. All right, hope this helps you out a little bit more. Again, always feel free to pause the videos and then try to solve the problems on your own. That's probably the best way to get practice for yourself. Take care.